Hey everybody, this is Doug with Artfully Rogue. So in the shop, we have been doing a lot of water features this year, and one of those types of water features is called a reflection pool. Now the reflection pool actually uses bubblers that come up from the water basin, and when we started looking for fountain pumps that would create that effect, we really didn't find anything that we liked, and what we did find was very inconsistent. So we decided to create our own, and this is how we did it. For the bubbler, I bought an 800 GPH fountain pump from Amazon. I'll leave the link in the description below. It comes with three barbed fittings. For the bubbler, I'm going to use the smallest fitting because I actually have some tube in the shop that this actually fits. So in addition to the barbed fitting, you'll need some plastic tubing that fits snugly over the barbed fitting. This is braided hose, which is overkill for this project, but again, I had it in the shop. Simply screw the fitting into the pump and then place the tubing over the fitting. The client wants a single bubbler, so I'm using a plastic tub that will get buried so you'll just see the bubbler. When I plug the pump in, as you can see, it shoots the water out and does not bubble. The plastic tube isn't completely straight, so to solve the bent tube issue, I placed a small section of PVC over the plastic tube. And that helps a little, but still not bubbling. Next, I added a PVC coupler, thinking it would create a wider opening and then create a bubbler look that I'm looking for. I also turned down the pressure on the pump and this seemed to help, but it still didn't get the look I wanted. When I straighten the PVC, the water falls back on itself and basically kills the flow. Almost the look, but not quite. So then I thought, maybe if I turn the pressure up, well, that didn't work either. Now I'm back to shooting a stream of water into the air, and as you can see, the water isn't very consistent. So I try to baffle the water and maybe help it fall back on itself like it does here. Next, I added a short piece of PVC in the coupler, and voila. I had the look that I'm now looking for. So I think this is working because as the water comes up into the tube and then actually hits the coupler, it acts as a baffle, spreading the water out. But then actually putting the small PVC tube back in the coupler, it allows the water to refocus again and then creates the bubbler effect. And the cool thing about this is I can dial this pressure up or I can dial the pressure down and it doesn't change the effect much other than height. So this is what worked for me. Hopefully it'll work for you when you create your bubbler fountain. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. It is greatly appreciated. If you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up. If you had not subscribed, please do so now. And I'll see you in the next video. So we decided to take... Uh, what did I get in my eye? Where did that come from?